Hello there once again. This time it's a special request. We've got a Midland 77805 Porter Pack here. I'm going to tell you I've never seen one of these before. This isn't a repair. It's something that I bought in some time ago. I bought a couple of them in a job lot of stuff uh, just in case we needed them for spares. They've not come with the porter packs, they haven't come with the mics, they've not come with anything except the bare sets. And one of them's in you know, a bit of a state, but this one is, um, is probably doable. Anyway, I've got most of the service manual, and I've been able to work out what we're going to do with it from the uh, diagrams that I've got. I've made up a kind of special mic. I've just got an old mic here, I've put a 5 pin din plug on it just so I can press the PTT. Now these radios use a speaker mic so the microphone is the loudspeaker, there is no loudspeaker in the case it's just a, an empty box. We don't have the speaker mics, I've got absolutely no idea where you get them from. I mean, if we could find a broken one somewhere like off eBay then uh, we could repair it but um, I don't know. But this is for Paul. Paul says could you do the Midland 77805 Porter Pack. So I've dug this out of our kind of junk department to do it as a demonstration. Now the VCO is quite clearly in there and that's clearly the VCO coil which is L116. Don't know what the procedure is and as I've said many times before we'd have to find out if we'd got something like this in with a VCO problem. What we'll do is start with transmit. And the first coil we've got for transmit is L107. So it's basically 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, I've lost count, 115, that's it. There's a special kind of mount there at the back for the telescopic aerial that's part of the kit but you see you can plug a normal aerial into it we've got power going in through external power input and it says 12 volts and I made sure our power supply is set at 12 volts as well and not 13.8 and we're into the extension speaker there then you've got high low power and of course that should be 4 watts in the high position and 400 milliwit I can't speak 0.4 of a watt which is 400 milliwatts in the other position so we're going to transmit, I'm in high power, let's see what this radio is actually doing and then we'll go through the tune-up procedure. Oh, it's 3.5 watts. So we'll start with our 107. And that's just neatly brought it above 4, so that was out of alignment. L108, L109, L110, I'll move over to the yellow to L111, that's now four and three quarter watts. So we'll just back it back down with L115. And we've got his spot on 4 watts. So whilst we're doing power, I'll go into low power mode. That should be doing 400 milliwatts. Um, on this particular set, it's doing 1.5 watts. And the low power setting is the RV501 which is just there, so we'll just turn that down that's now 400 milliwatts so we'll go back to high power mode we'll check that the meter is a 4 bar on the front, we'll just make sure it's only just going into the fourth one and the TX meter is RV103 which is there at the back so we're going to transmit and just make sure it's just now when I switch to low power, 
it lights at one, which is great. That's just what we want. And deviation is this one here, and it's RV105. So I'll just uh, amend my information here to say that it's RV105. I can't do the deviation because we haven't got a microphone. But usual thing, maximum deviation is two and a half kilohertz, and it's with that preset. You need the, the correct microphone. I could put things up to an audio generator, but um, there isn't any point when I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Now, the final thing we need to make sure it's on frequency. It should be 27.79125 for channel 20, and it's showing 27.79135, which is just slightly high. I'll just adjust that to a fraction. And uh, it's uh, capacitor 204, which is the variable capacitor for that. And that's just to the right of the crystal, which is by the synthesizer. Which on these sets is the LC7137 from Sanyo. And that's it, that's the transmitter setup. So, in the next video, I'll just do the receive for you.